Kitty Wolf Kids, get your brains warmed up, your minds moving, and ready yourself for a Kitty Wolf journey. It's going to be amazing. Hello, my name is Marnie. Today, we're going to go on a creative mind journey that will help us learn how to use a really awesome tool anytime we want to, to help us see and feel what's happening inside of us. And when we know what's happening inside us, then we can often feel better. It's the best trick ever and can be used anytime when you are sad or frustrated or curious or anything. So how do we do this? Well, it's kind of like a remote control for a TV or a button on your phone or on a website, except it's a little box that you hold in your hand or you can wear it like a bracelet around your wrist and you can use it whenever you want, as much as you want. And all you need to use this special remote control switch box tool is your imagination. Well, and you might need your robot voice too, so get it ready. <laughs> Okay, can you imagine that this little box has a cool yellow laser beam of light that turns on whenever you flip the switch? I wonder if you can invent your own switch flipping sound and pretend to make that sound with me and we can flip our switches together. Ready? Can you think of a sound? Awesome. Let's flip the switch. One, two, three, flip. flip. Okay, well that was my sound and you probably have your own sound because it's your switch, which is awesome. And the cool thing about this switch is that it can help you to see and feel what's happening inside of your body, inside of your mind, instead of what's happening outside of you and around you. It can kind of go back and forth. So I wonder if we can give it a try. Let's flip our switch again and shine our laser beam of light directly to ourselves and see what we can see inside. Let's make the sound again. Ready? One, two, three. Flip, flip. Is your switch on? Is the laser beam shining? All right. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point that laser beam right to me, right to my body, actually right to my belly button. <laughs> and I wonder if you can point it to yourself too. And then the cool thing is, is that you can kind of get x-ray vision. So look inside of yourself, see what's happening in there. See your heart beating and your lungs breathing and your brain thinking and all these feelings and thoughts kind of moving around and, I'm noticing that right now, I'm feeling happy. And actually, I think I'm going to say that in my robot voice. So why don't you do the same thing? See if you can notice anything you're feeling right now. And if you don't notice, it's okay. You can just make up a feeling and just say it just for practice. Okay? So here we go. Get your robot voice ready. One, two, three. I feel happy. Okay, awesome. Did you say a feeling? Okay, now let's point our switch in the other direction and see what's happening around us. Okay, so get your switch sound and your robot voice ready. Let's try it again. Let's flip the switch. One, two, three. Flip. Now I'm pointing my laser beam away from myself. And I'm looking around me with my regular eyes to see what's happening. And what do I see? I see my living room. I see the windows and I see people walking on the street. Can you point your laser beam around you and see? What do you see? What do you hear? What's going on? Are there other people? Okay. 
So are you starting to get the picture of how this thing works? Uh, let's just do one more for practice, just for fun. Let's uh, flip our switch, point the laser beam toward our own body, and look inside and see if there's any feelings there. And you can say a feeling, or you can say something silly, like not even a feeling. You can say, oh, I feel bananas, or oh, I feel squishy, or I feel blum da -ga 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 something like that. Okay, so let's give it a try. Get your switch sound ready. Deep breath. And let's flip. One, two, three. Flip. Shine your laser beam of light out of your remote control box. Point it towards yourself. I'm pointing it to my belly button right now. And get your x-ray vision on. Look inside, see what's happening. Are there any feelings in there? Like happy or sad or excited or are there no feelings at all? Let's say something in a robot voice. One, two, three. I feel bananas. <laughs> okay, awesome. I hope you said something really cool. Now, I think we should use this tool and like practice it and use our imagination to go on an adventure and see if we can use the switch in a real life situation. Okay, so we'll use our imagination. Take a deep breath, grab hold of your switch. Keep your robot voice handy and let's go. I wonder where we should go first on our little adventure. I know, let's go to the grocery store with your mom or dad. Let's just say it's dad, go ahead. Close your eyes. Can you imagine it? Driving there, getting out of the car, seeing the big sign out front and walking in. You are there in the store. Can you smell that grocery store smell? <laughs> Can you see all the colors and the lights? And Did you get a big grocery cart on wheels? Imagine you are walking down the aisle and you can see your favorite yummy cereal that you love and you want it you tell your dad look dad look it's my favorite chocolatey yummy in my tummy delicious on my tongue tasting breakfast cereal and i want to eat it tomorrow well dad is busy on his phone looking at his grocery list and trying to steer the cart toward the vegetable aisle and you start to feel a little hmm, maybe frustrated is the word Time to try your switch. One, two, three. Flip the Point the laser beam towards yourself. And now you can see what's happening inside of you. It looks a little gray and rainy inside your body. Not so happy. Suddenly, you notice your robot voice comes out and you hear yourself saying quietly, I feel frustrated. You press the switch again and flip and you look outside of you with your regular eyes and you see dad still pushing the grocery cart but he doesn't hear you so you talk louder dad i want this cereal can you see it's my favorite Dad quickly looks at you, then back at the shopping cart, then at his phone and says, No. Just no. Not anything like, well, maybe another time or tomorrow, or we can talk about it or anything like that. But he just uses his loud voice and he says, No. 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 You flip your switch again to the inside. And it looks kind of red inside of you, like a volcano even. It's bubbling and hot and steaming. I feel really frustrated. You say a bit louder, but dad is too busy talking on his phone. So you start to talk even louder. Dad, I really want that cereal, dad. And he keeps shaking his head. Nope. And you start to almost yell, and your voice is loud, and you don't feel good. So, what's happening to you? How are you feeling? What's happening on the inside? Let's flip that switch again. Ready? Deep breath. Grab hold and 
Shine that laser beam of light right towards your body or your belly button. Look inside with your x-ray vision. How's that volcano doing inside of you? Is it getting very bubbly? Is it getting hotter? Does it look really, really red? Does your face feel hot? Is your neck tingly? Do your muscles feel all tight? What's that feeling exactly? It's more than feeling frustrated, isn't it? Do you feel like you're gonna explode? Does it feel like someone is squeezing your tummy and stopping you from breathing? Now, let's check even closer and deeper inside. Can you concentrate really hard? and feel what's happening inside of your heart? Can you listen? Is it telling you something? Does it feel open or closed? Is your heart slamming the door and not wanting to talk to anyone? Do you just want everyone to go away and leave you alone? You flip the switch again, ready? Flip, flip, switch. Shine your laser beam around you and look with your regular eyes and you see your dad is still talking on the phone, pushing the grocery cart and not looking at you. And you push it again and flip, switch it. Point the light to your body and you see very clearly inside you. It seems like the volcano is gonna burst and erupt. You feel the bubbles bubbling faster and the steam getting hotter and the lava getting redder and your robot voice suddenly gets louder and you see the words leaping out of your mouth suddenly, Dad, I feel angry. And click, switch. You push your switch again and you look around you and you see your dad. He suddenly stops, closes his phone, turns around and looks right in your eyes. He leaves his grocery cart where it is and starts walking toward you. You can feel and hear the swish swoosh of his running shoes on the grocery store floor. He reaches down opens his arms and gives you a great big hug. It's okay to feel angry sometimes, he says. I'm sorry I acted in a way that made you feel frustrated. <sighs> a big sigh comes out of your mouth, two little tears come out of your eyes, and then click, flip, switch. You flip the switch one more time and you see the volcano inside you has calmed down. It's not red anymore, barely any bubbles, it's resting. Your muscles are relaxed and you feel so good after the great big dad hug. Can you imagine how this would feel? Even though we imagined this scene, try to think of an example from your life when you wish you had a switch like this, when it would have been really good to tell someone what was going on inside of you. Can you think of anything? Not if you can. I know I can. When we switch to the inside and try to say what we feel in there, then we often feel better. And sometimes it's important for the people in our life to hear how we are feeling. So now that our little adventure is ending for today, can you still remember how to use your switch? It might come in handy sometime if you need it. Let's try it and practice it just one more time to make sure it's ready to use the next time you feel lots of feelings. All right. Can you get ready? Take a deep breath. Let's flip the switch to the inside. Flip, flip, switch. Point that laser beam right to you. If you want, you can point it to your belly button or somewhere on your tummy and look inside with your x-ray vision. Can you see or feel what's happening inside of you right now? And if you don't, you can just make up a feeling. That's okay. Okay, let's say a feeling. Ready? One, two, three. I feel excited. Okay, awesome. Now let's flip the switch back to the outside. Deep breath. And flip, click, switch. 
point the laser beam to the outside. Look out your regular eyes, look around you in the room you're standing in or wherever you are. And can you see what's happening? Just say something, say something that you see. I'm gonna say something, let's do it at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. I see someone getting out of her car. Okay, awesome. Uh, I hope you had fun on this adventure and I can't wait for the next one. Remember, you can use the switch anytime you need it, when you're waiting in line for the bus, getting ready for recess at school or when you're at home. The switch can work whenever you want. Well, that's all for today. My challenge for you is to try to use the switch at least two times this week. And next time, we can try the switch to help us notice a different feeling. Until then, keep switching and have fun. So, what did you think? Did it make your toes tingle? Your eyes dance? Your mind relax? Take a minute to stop, breathe, and check in with how you feel after listening to the story. <laughs>